Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Brentley, and I'm bringing you a little uh, team deathmatch on Baccarat, or however the hell you say this map. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a commentary for you all, so I'm uh, doing it now. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, in this game, I think I went 10 3. Did a little bit of camping, but you know, hey, that's how I roll, and I really don't care what you all think out there about campers, because my theory is nobody. Everybody camps, and everybody hates campers, but they really hate getting killed by campers. So, uh, anyway, that's how I roll, because I'm playing with my uh, fellow clan members, and they're way more talented at this than I am. So, uh, so be it. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my first week uh, going without a driver's license. Uh, as you all know, I got a DUI back in March on my birthday. My uh, first ever time in cuffs, first time in trouble. Uh, first time anything. Well, anyway, my 30-day uh, suspended license started on June 5th, so it's been almost a week now. Uh, I haven't been able to drive, and I'll be honest with you, it hasn't been all that bad. Um, luckily, I've got some pretty cool family members, especially my grandmother, who pretty much raised me as when I was a child. My mom and dad were, you know, business types, and they were always uh, busy and whatnot. So grandma always took care of me. Uh, my grandmother has two um, pr uh, fake knees. She's had two knee replacements. So she has a handicap placard. So whenever I need to go, like to the store or Sam's Club or something like that, um, we get primo parking. So it's really not bad. And she really has no problem driving me around. Um, so, you know, things are pretty much normal, except, uh, you know, I just have to bum rides, which, you know, is getting old. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I wish I had a license. I wish I could, you know, just go and grab a, a burger whenever I wanted or whatever, but I can't do that. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, so that's cool. Um, we have, uh, the family has a empty lot we've been sitting on for a long time. And it looks like we finally have a buyer for it. Um, it's a buyer that's been looking at it for years and uh, finally gave us said hey we're going to uh make you an offer and uh, we should have the offer today or tomorrow so based on that um since everybody oh look at that, double kill with the bouncing bay i've never done that before so anyway um we're going to uh not only uh sell the land it's a lot we don't need it's in say limits we don't have to, you know we've been trying to get rid of it for years and uh, we're going to get me some new furniture and carpet for it and we're also going to help my brother out with his new truck um yeah you know, all in all it's going to be good um so yeah i'm looking forward to that um i'm not really in a hurry for new furniture and carpet but my grandmother's like you know let's hurry up and get it over with so you know i'm like you know i don't know she gets like this when she's into some money she's like you know let's get it done now and i'm not in any hurry but so what but you know we all share profits from selling lands and whatnot so it's all good. So anyway, that's I'm looking forward to that. It's just nowadays there's so many choices when it comes to furniture and mattress and whatnot, and it's uh, you know things are way cheaper than when I bought my leather furniture 15 years ago. You know I paid like over almost four grand for a sofa, an ottoman, and a love seat, and now it's like you, not even half the price. I can get the same thing, same quality. So uh, that's kind of shocking. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, um, a good friend of mine, um, contacted me the other day. Uh, basically, uh, sh she's a really good friend. She knows my situation about my driver's license and whatnot. And, um, basically just wants me to come to Sturgis to hang out. Uh, you know, not to work, not to, you know, just, just to hang out with her. And basically she, I'm her shoulder to cry on, I guess. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going or not. Because, you know, after 12 years of doing the same thing every August, it, you know, I need a break. I need something new. I need, you know, I'd love to go to Lollapalooza in Chicago this year. Um, you know, I'd love to do just anything different. You know what I mean? So I haven't made up my mind about that. Um, it's really, really hot and steamy as shit today. I mean, I went uh, to Sam's Club to pick up some stuff, and it's just, I mean, as soon as you step out of the car, you're just drenching sweat. I fucking hate this hot, humid weather. 
Uh, I know you boys in Louisiana and Texas and Mississippi and Bam, you know, down south are used to this shit. Uh, I've lived in Missouri all my life, and I'm still not used to it, and I still don't fucking like it. So, I can bitch about it. So, anyway, that's that. Um, let's see what else I want to talk about to you today. Uh, told you. Oh, another thing. Hey, I'm not going to do... <laughs> okay, I do a lot of favors for a lot of people. I have for years. You know, I've always thought it's better to give than receive. Well... I haven't received shit in a long time. So please, if you if I've done you a huge favor and you haven't done me shit, don't ask for me for a huge favor until you do something for me. You know, it's it, it it's only fair. Um, you know, I've only got a handful of calls this year about hey, can you get me a job in Sturgis? Usually I've had a couple dozen by now. But I guess the word's out that I am not going this year. At least I'm not working, so there's nothing I can do. Well, that's bullshit. I can make one phone call and get pretty much anyone a job at the Full Throttle Saloon if I really wanted to. But I just don't feel like it. You know, I've got hooked people up for years and I have yet to get shit in return, so I'm not doing it. So, you know, that's probably about the only soapbox issue I've got this week. Um, it's pretty cool. Everything's been going pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Uh, thank God for Central Air. Thank God my internet connection's not going down. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate each and every one of you that watches these videos and shares them or subs to my channel. You know, I mean, I, I do this for a hobby. Uh, I don't do it to make money, but, you know, of course I like to have people look at my shit. But anyway, I appreciate it. You see I went 10 and 3 or 10 and whatever. And anyway, rate, light, sub. Appreciate it. Bye.